Verse 2, grace and peace be multiplied to you in the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. Now this word knowledge here though, this word knowledge, it is not gnosis. We'll see gnosis later on. We'll talk about it later on. But, but this isn't gnosis. This is a, a, a form of gnosis. And, but it is precise and correct knowledge. Full knowledge. This is a very specific word. And it, it, and it actually tells us something. Precise and correct and full knowledge of Jesus is important. Why? You can worship the wrong Jesus. The Mormons worship the wrong Jesus. The Jehovah Witnesses worship the wrong Jesus. Did you know that Muslims hold up Jesus as one of their prophets? They have the wrong Jesus. Only the Jesus of the Bible and only the precise complete, full uh, uh, knowledge of that Jesus is correct. In other words, the details matter. The doctrine matters. It really does. It, especially when, and primarily when, we are focusing on or talking about the person and work of Jesus Christ. I'm really uh, strong on teaching and, and preaching uh, and, and being concerned about a correct doctrine. Correct doctrine. But you have to understand something. There are areas of doctrinal differences that, that don't make or break our fellowship, that don't make or break salvation. They're, 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 they're out here, right? And they're, they're fringe or they're outside of the fundamental critical doctrines. Well, what makes up the fundamental critical doctrines? Primarily, primarily, anything that touches the, the work and person of Jesus Christ. Anything that touches him becomes a critical doctrine. Something like the virgin birth. Believe it or not, there's a lot in the church today that are not even just questioning, but totally denying the virgin birth. As though it is not that important of a doctrine. That's completely wrong. The virgin birth is, is a critical doctrine. And it is a fundamental doctrine. And it is one that you, you must believe. You must have that. If you deny the virgin birth, you deny the Christ of the Bible. So, this precise, full, complete knowledge, Peter here says, is, is the catalyst to multiply grace and peace in my life. It is, it is the cornerstone of, of growth in my life. Knowing Him and knowing who He really is. Well, where do I get this knowledge? Because there's a lot of people that say they have that knowledge, isn't there? And there's a lot of people that would even like you to think that they are the ones you need to go for that knowledge. Well, that's wrong. The Word of God. This is the place to get that knowledge. Hopefully you can always get that here, but hopefully you're not only getting that here. See, because the Holy Spirit, the one who wrote this book, if you've accepted Christ, He is in you. And He will speak to you through this book. And He will teach you. This is the only feeding you're getting a week. You're in trouble. You need to, you need to be in the Word of God yourself. And... and, and you're never going to know him the way that you should unless you're taking that time and getting into the word and allowing the Lord, word to speak to you. It's the only place that we find the complete revelation of who God is, of who Jesus is, and that we can be sure we're getting the, the right information. Nowhere else. Nowhere else has this. First.